Hello everyone, this is Cindy and I'm back with another group of tags. We're up to number 77, which is using a decorative edge punch on your tag. And this is a piece of scrapbook paper that I just use an edge punch on to give it the uh, look on both ends. Here's one I did with a musical note edge punch. And I backed it on some manila folder because it's pretty fragile, it tears easy. And this one I just used decorative scissors on both ends. And here's another edge punch I have, but right now it's jammed or something. I couldn't get it to work, so that's all I have left of it. So anyway, I know you guys have tons of edge punchers out there, so you can turn a basic piece of scrapbook paper into something a little bit more special by using a punch on the ends. So that's idea number 77. 78 is using this pattern, this basic idea for this pattern. And I'm not sure where I got this uh, idea. I'm probably out of the paper crafts magazine which i've mentioned before and basically it's just a um, piece of cardstock or scrapbook paper it's rectangular on one end and then it's got a curve on the other and it's folded and that's the basic pattern i have in my ideas book and here it is um, with using actual colored uh, cardstock so pretty easy i just took a Piece. I don't, it doesn't have to be square, just whatever size it is. Find something round, and I think I used a big spool of ribbon to trace around. And um, then I stamp, uh, stamped some lines on it, and it's a journaling card. Here's another shape, just a little bit different. Of course, it's smaller, and it's just plain scrapbook paper. And it just kind of helps, because my scrapbook paper is kind of thin, so it just kind of helps thicken it up since it's folded uh, on itself. And when I was doing this one, I got the idea to make this one. And this is just a piece of scrapbook paper that's backed onto some white cardstock, which I've inked up and stamped some lines on. But do you recognize the shape? It's one that everybody has seen quite a bit, and it's this. I just traced around it and made a journaling card. So I thought, you know, something very simple that's right there at hand can make a pretty neat little journaling card. So anyway, that's idea 78. 79 is one that's similar to one we've done before. It's making a, I don't know what I called it back then, a accordion fold of tags, except this one's a little different because it has pockets on it. So basically you're folding your paper up to make a pocket and then you're folding it to get your four tags. And um, you can decorate it however you want. So here's one, on this one I sewed to make the pockets. And I thought, well, what if you don't have a sewing machine and you just don't want to take the time? How does it do when it's glued? And it does great. So what I did was I just folded it and then when I had my folds, I took a just a little bead of Fabri-Tac, put it on there, put it down, uh, glued it down and it worked fine. So the way you make this is you just start out with a piece of Eight and a half by 11 paper, and it can be any size, of course. Um, just fold up your pocket, just whatever you want it to be. Just kind of eyeball it. And then you're gonna fold the paper in half with that pocket folded up in there. Then you're gonna unfold it and fold it back towards the center. That gives you your four folds. In order to close it up, you just fold this one in, that one in, and then like that. And then, of course, if you want the tag shaped at the top, you just cut off the little ears, as I call them. You do that when it's folded up, and it does all four of them at once. So this one's ready to be glued or sewn and decorated. So anyway. That's idea 78, nope, 79, a folded folder of pocket tags. All right, number 80 is using something to top your tags. Kind of like what we did a while ago, but we were using punches. This one, I'm using the punches in a little bit of a different way. 
it's not an edge punch it's just a punch I have and I have this one that cuts out these leaves and they're they're embossed I don't know if you can see that or not but they're embossed so I just took some strips of paper stapled them together and glued three of those uh, shapes on the top and on this one I just have this punch which is the tab punch and I just put it on the top I stapled it instead of glued it because this was a laminated old library card. And I like this shape, uh, the tab, on this type of tag, you know, rounded top instead of one of these. Because they just, to me, when it's like that, it just kind of looks like a little hat or something on that tag. So, anyway, you just have, just whatever you like. And then I thought I have this punch, which is the two-inch scallop punch. I folded it in half, and I'm going to just glue it on to the top of that tag and that gives me a little topper on the top of that tag and of course you can put other embellishments on there as well and here's one I thought we'd just do real quick I just have scraps of paper and they're long skinny ones so even the long skinny ones can make a pretty neat little journaling uh, card so I'm just going to staple that and I backed it on a piece of manila folder um, that I just used the scallop punch around Staple that again. And then I also have this punch, which is the flower that's embossed. And I'm just going to glue some of those on the top to cover up those staples. And we have another little journaling uh, card idea that didn't take any time at all. I'm just about out of glue. Anyway, this is idea number 80. Just using some of your punches to decorate the top of uh, some strips of paper. Make a little journaling. Uh, it's like a little booklet or tablet. Idea 80. Number 80. Alright, idea 81 is using a doily to decorate tags. And it's really kind of hard to see. But this one... I put the dolly at the bottom and made a little pocket out of it. I've got really bad shadows here. But anyway, that's the one way. Here I put it on the corner, the bottom at the corner, and made a little tuck. And on this one, I put it on the side and made a side tuck. Then I decided I could add, I have a three inch scallop punch, circle punch. I could fold that in half and have a little bit of decoration on that doily and then on this one I put the doily on the top and it's really hard to see but it's the same sort of thing we were just talking about uh, some sort of topper on your tag so that adds a little something and I can obviously put more on there this one shows up a little better but anyway this is just using doilies to decorate your tags that's idea number 81 and um, Idea 82, a lot involved with this one, lots of samples. First of all, there's a lady on YouTube called Terry Woods, and she does these fold-outs where you can glue part of the page in, the, uh, in your journal, and then the whole thing folds out, and then you can journal on it, and then fold it back up, and it's the shape again and this one could be pockets as well as the journaling paper so her name is Terry Woods and um, of course everybody's seen the ones where you take a piece of strip of paper and you fold it and fold the corners down and it makes like looks like an envelope and that will just slip in one of your pockets and I, I made several of them just practicing with different sizes of paper and different types of paper and here's one that's a little bit longer and uh, here's one, just fold it up twice. And I know you guys know Gail Agnostinelli on YouTube. She showed this just recently, one she had made out of book pages, folding the tops down and then folding it up. And then she put um, blank paper there so you can journal on the inside. And it looks like an envelope and it just fits right into your pockets. 
Now, the next part of this, I saw, here's the instructions. And I'm thinking I saw it on Pinterest. I'm not sure. I just did a screenshot of it, and I didn't re uh, remember where I actually got it. But it was talking about how uh, Russian soldiers would send um, letters through the mail. And, of course, they didn't have uh, envelopes. So they just used a piece of paper. And this shows how they folded it, and they sent it as a triangle through the mail. And this person that wrote this up said they experimented sending it through the U.S. mail. I was just wondering if it would go through, and it did. So, um, anyway, it's pretty easy. And it is using an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper, which is the one this size, which is really too big. So I cut my paper down to 5.5 by 8 and got one about this size. And I, I think you could also glue this, part of this, down on your paper. Uh, I, I mean, on your page in your journal. And then you can fold it out and then fold it back up. But I kind of like the idea of just slipping this little triangle in a pocket. Anyway, here's how you make it. Uh, you fold your paper. Make sure everybody can see. So you're going to fold it to make a triangle. You're going to still have this part here. There's your triangle. And then you're going to fold this back. To make the triangle with this big flap here. And then you're going to fold these into the fold. And just fold that up to get a crease. And then what you're going to do is you're going to tuck this in that opening right there. Except you need to go in straight. And then just kind of smooth it down. And then you have a triangle. And you'll do, of course, a better job of folding it than I did. But here's the instructions again. And I, like I said, I think this is on Pinterest, but I'm not sure. So anyway, it's definitely worth trying and it's fun. So anyway, that was idea, I think, 82. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.